Hello everyone, this is Janelle O'Clue of Lojo Immigration, where we provide you with confidence and clarity with your immigration legal matters. All right, folks, uh, this video actually has some really good information for immigrants who are serving in the United States military and uh, you are applying for naturalization. So as we know, um, we file naturalization on form N-400. If you are a member of the military or naval service or have served, you're a veteran of the military or naval service, uh, then please remember to file form N-426 together with your N-400, that's N-426. That's the request for certification of military or naval service. Now, let me give you a very important tip about your N-426. And that is that USCIS has what is basically a no blank spaces policy. That means you can't skip any of uh, the, the, the questions uh, on the form. You can't just leave um, blank spaces on the form. You need to answer all the questions on the form N426. Now, there might be some information that you don't have. In that case, make sure that you always put a N slash A, that's not applicable. Remember, put N slash A, not applicable, for um, uh, questions that don't apply to you or you don't know the uh, in information, okay? The reason why I say this is if you leave a bunch of blank spaces on your N426, USCIS is going to reject it. And that is going to cause several weeks if not months, delay with your naturalization process. So remember to include a form N26, N426 uh, with your application to naturalize. And remember that you need to uh, respond to all the questions or put a NA, not applicable. Okay, so uh, the, basically, I, I, uh, the only um, question on there that you can leave blank, I believe, is your A number if you don't have um, a num an A number. Um, also, uh, the form asks you for your DOD ID number. If you look on the back of your uh, common access card, that's your CAC. If you look on the back of your CAC, you should be able to find your uh, DOD. ID number, uh, that, that, that DOD ID number, that's basically what the Department of Defense is using now um, as an identifier as opposed to like a social security number. I hope uh, this information is helpful for our immigrant uh, service members and veterans. Thank you again for your service to the United States of America, and I wish you all the best in your naturalization uh, journey as you uh, become American citizens. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.